I'm Chloe Crabtree from CelebrateAndDecorate.com and you're watching Home Talk. The first thing I'm going to do is turn one of my bowls upside down. This is something we're going to do on all of the bowls. Obviously, we're going to take our tag off and then I'm going to take my glue gun. You may have seen me do this in the past with Shatterproof Christmas ornaments. And I'm going to turn it up just so it's better for you to see, but I would like, I like to work on it straight down like this. And what you're going to do is you're just going to gently push with a hot, te high temp, old glue gun that you don't use for gluing. And it's going to melt a hole right through. And like I said, I will turn it sideways so you can see what it does, but it's going to melt a hole right through our bowl. See, there we go. So, so what I'm gonna do is I am gonna make a circle of these holes that are gonna to connect together because I want it to be, um, I want the big part in the middle about the size of a quarter to come all the way out. Do not press down too hard. If you do, you will crack your bowl. When you have your holes all in a circle, you just want to try and melt that part right between them so that it'll pop out a big circle for you because you're going to want to have that to feed your Christmas lights through. And there we have it, enough it's melted and be, again be careful that you don't crack your bowl and you've got a good size hole for your light to feed your lights through and I'm just going to sand off those rough edges so I have finished with all of my bowls that's five of this one and four of this one and you can see that not only have I melted the hole in them, but I have sanded them off so that they will stack smoothly together. And now I'm going to get ready to put the lights in and attach these to one another. So let's get going. I'm gonna start with one of these bowls first. And I just happen to have these lights, these battery pack lights, but I wasn't sure that one of these would be enough. So I'm going to use two, but if you order, um, if you get yourself one that has enough lights in it, you can do um, just one bunch of lights. So what I'm gonna do is I am going to feed these through the hole, but our battery pack is going to go under here and I'm gonna want a couple of lights down inside the base. So I'm gonna undo my little pipe cleaner, leave some of those in there, and then I'm going to bundle this back up again. Now I have my second bunch, same thing. The battery pack is going to go under here and I'm going to just put these right through the same hole right here. And now we're going to add one of our large bowls like so. Same thing, make sure that you're putting them through the bottom so like this. Now I have this bowl on top of this one but I want to secure it. So this is where I'm going to take my Eileen's The Ultimate and I'm just going to add a bead of the adhesive right around the top here. So we put our, that down and then we're just going to secure that bowl right to the bottom bowl. When you're confident that your adhesive is dry and that these are glued together well, so you can pick one up, the other one comes up, then we're going to take our second large crystal bowl with the hole in it, and we're gonna do the same thing. I'm going to let loose a few of the lights, and then I'm going to push them through the next hole. And we're just gonna pull that whole bundle through, and then I'm going to do the same thing with my second bunch. And I'm going to take my Eileen's and I'm going to put a bead of it around here, right where my finger is, so that I can connect these two bowls, secure these two bowls to one another. So I'm getting close to the top here. You can see all the way up there. And I have this top of a little candy jar that I'm going to put on the very top finish it off it's going to go on top of this one like so 
and I want to have at least one light up in there. So I am going, I have a hole in this one also. To get my um, little lights to stay and not to fall back down in, what I'm going to do is I have this clear waterproof floral tape and I'm going to tape some of those lights. So I have two lights, one or two or three from each of my strands and I'm just going to put that waterproof clear tape right across there to keep those right up in the top. And that keeps them from falling all the way down in. So I have climbed way up here. And of course that won't come all the way off because I've taped my lights on, but I'm gonna do the same thing. This lid is smaller than this. So I'm going to put this on the high edge of this lid. You always want to put your adhesive on the highest point. I'm just going to make sure that that is centered and we have a little top on our beautiful lighted tower. Somewhere along the line, I realized that if I pick this up, <laughs> my battery packs are going to pull those lights down. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this plastic tray and put it beneath my tower of lights before I left the Dollar Tree, I picked up a couple of these uh, glitter drapes, they call it, but it's the cotton with some glitter on it. I'm just gonna open this up and I'm gonna cut some of this and put it down around the bottom, give it that little snowy look. But you don't have snow here in Florida, so. But there's no reason you cannot put this out in the snow. When we really wanna see it is when it's dark outside. So I'm going to take this and head outside. And here is our lighted tower. It's out here by our tower of packages. I don't know if you got to see that. I did that on a video for you all. And look how pretty that is and how it glows at night. And you can imagine if I didn't have my porch lights on, it would, you would see it even more. So I hope that you like this project and you're heading out to Dollar Tree to see if you can get those crystal bowls. Um, I had a little trouble at first finding them, but this week I see they're all in stock. So uh, get those and get your lights and make some of these for yourself for Christmas this year. They're just so pretty and I'm ready for you all to get creative and make these yourself.